G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm at the Vietnamese Bonsai Club show this year. Um, coming in to have a look at the sales area first before I go into the display area. And let's go for a walk through with as I go. So I'll give you a quick tour of all the um, show sales. Um, quite a few trees, lots of different varieties, quite cheap. That's 160 for their twin trunk. Um, lots of interesting trees here on offer. Black pine. Got a white pine there. Some groups. See the, see the numbers there, the prices, the big yellow prices. Some lovely pots here on offer. Some interesting pots. Very nice, very interesting. Lots of trees all flowering. So it's probably a good time to sell these trees because it's nice and flowering. So lots of different varieties, lots of different trees. Some shimpakus. Some natives. Get some fruiting, that's interesting. Probably held on the fruits over autumn. That's a lovely tree, that one. What is that? Is that a native wattle or something? Very nice. Some big trident there. What else is there? A few other trees. Lovely group. Massive cedar. Can't even get in the shot. Shamu cypress. Let's have a quick walk through. Maple. That's 820 bucks for that trident. Hmm. Interesting trees, black pine, what's that, 600, that massive tree. Which is reasonable, it's a very tall tree though. You can make a nice little variety out of it. More trees, more trees, more trees. Hey! G'day. Oh, sorry, that was Andrew. G'day, Andrew. Hey, mate. <laughs> you had to say hello. Nice prunus, probably, that one. Or an elm, very nice. Cedar, some junipers, yeah, trees everywhere. Got some monster trident maples here for around the 1400 for that monster trident, 15 for that one. Very nice. Lots of good stock on offer, especially if you're growing a collection. Lots of nice trees, lots of maples, all coming to leaf. Very cool. Lots of small trees too. Yeah. Held the fruits for since last year, pretty good. Some flowering plum for five fifty. Some interesting trees. Some nice trees. Other trees for sale and down here. Eight fifty for that one. A few other trees. Some interesting cedars over here. Very pricey though, but very nice. Very nice trees, but very, as I said, very pricey. Big 2200 for that. Um, Simpaku. Some more nice trees. I missed this section, so I'm just going through it for you. More nice little Shimpakus. Nice maple over there. Lovely, lovely colour. Yeah, very nice. All right, I'm in the um, exhibition now, and let's have a look through some of these trees. Some really nice trees, up especially on stage. Looks like a Japanese maple here, quite beautiful. Oops, sorry about that. Japanese quince in there. I'll go up on the stage in a minute. I think the quinces are very popular at this time of year. Maples are starting to leaf out in spring. Nice, young, healthy new leaves. Let's go up over a look at you. Some really good trees. This is a black pine. Let's have a look. I'll take a bit more time videoing these trees as I get, as I've been told on my channel. This is a gorgeous azalea. 
pink flowers. But the most impressive is that trunk. Look how thick that is. You don't get azaleas like that unless you grow up for a very, very long time. That's a beautiful tree. Awesome English elm. Very big. Another Japonica Chinese elm. Very nice elm triple trunk. Very natural style. I like that. I see natural. Azalea again. Kurume Azalea. And this is a Chinese elm. It's quite a nice tree. Triple trunk like that. This is quite this is quite awesome. But that azalea is gonna steal the shell, I reckon. We'll see how we go with the rest of the group. Alright, this is a twin trunk nigo pine. I've probably seen this before in the show. But obviously the flowering trees are it's all about the flowering trees as it's coming into spring here in Melbourne. And the beautiful steers are out. Purple flower. A few more weeks this would have been flush with foliage. Here we got a wattle. Black pine. Take some time to video each tree as I've been asked to do a bit more of. <coughs> now this is huge. I think it's a what is that? Here is Japonica lily of the valley shrub, but it's not a shrub. It's look at this giant trunk. Show you inside. All the way up. Absolute massive tree. Can't even get it in the shot. It's so big. There you go. I've just got it in the shot. I think. I think my brother zoom out. Actually, there we go. Huge. Got a very thick blue cedar. Let's have a look at the trunk. He's got a gin at the top. Uh, jade. I'm going to skip through things that I'm not hugely interested in. <laughs> let's go through the main exhibition now. The main rows. Let's have a look what we've got here. Radiata pine. Let's have a look at the trunk. The Navarre is better. That'll be a really nice tree. Japanese maple. With all the leaves already out. Pretty cool. Very early, so I must have got all the leaves out early. The Prunus, missed all the flowers, just missed the flowers. There's a few left. Not much, but there's a few around. So we've got a trunk. It's just trying to maple, still not in leaf. That's pretty normal. We'll trying it's a bit later than Japanese maple. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here, watching out for all the people, the blue cedar. A little landscape. Flower. Flower. Got a very big Mugo. Not sure why it's so yellow though. Maybe it's a golden Mugo. Well, it's interesting. Uh, China maple group. Chinese elm. Quite a big trunk. Oh, this uh, this wild olive is coming along very well. I saw it last year. Got a shimpak that's growing out of a vase somehow. <laughs> a very big Chinese elm. Unfortunately, the wound is massive and right in your face there, so they should have done some carving and getting that looking more natural. <clears throat> Beautiful olive. Always see that in your show. Twisted up cedar. I don't know about that pot. Bit too much for me, that pot. I would love a nice Japanese pot, brown, just unglazed rather than that but everyone's got their own taste a uh, lovely cedar as well atlantic cedar this this foliage is fantastic just that pot is hideous unfortunately oh really nice little shaking display here this is an excellent little blue cedar here fantastic look at these little guys i've really got sensation Great little, great little display that. <coughs> black pine. I don't know if that's a black pine. 
It doesn't look like a black, but here's a black. Oh, well done. Someone's got their flowering perfectly timed for this prunus. All beautiful flowers coming out. Nice old tree. Let's go, I missed the, miss the, miss the road, I missed a few roads. Let's go back over here. Let's go down this way. Crab apple just finished flowering as well. We got a looks like a Migo or a black. Nice trunk. Uh, this is a Kinoki Cypress. Buxus. A sculpture. Oh, this is a nice black pine. I don't know about. I just wish they would wire more. See, so having this look at the head on it just looks wrong. Anyway, that's just me being picky. Because look at that roots. Beautiful root base. Nice transition. I think it's a bit straight, but it's okay. I'm just getting all that wide down would be awesome. Well, here we go. This is full of flowers. Looks like a crab apple. Look at these flowers. Nice red flowers are popping. Uh, looks like a gnome of some sort. Yeah, no, the quince. Quinces are popular this time of year. Japanese white pine. Big fat trunk. Oh, another wisteria. Just, as I said, a couple of weeks away, away from full flowers would have been. Maybe a week even. Just the one week off. Sensation. Let's go over here. <clears throat> Chinese elm through a, a very interesting rock. There's a few people I just gotta avoid. Tony Esther. I never knew how Tony Esther's to grow like that though. Let's have a look here at this black pine. Interesting. Very nice little rowdy style. That is uh, a wisteria. Another wisteria just about to pop. Look at those flowers. Some of those are just away, maybe a week or two. Let's have a corkia, corokia, sorry, I'll keep saying that wrong. Blue cedar. It would be nice if it was fully wired and more down, but very nice tree. Oh, excellent English elm. A bit triangular, but look at this beautiful work. Dead wood work. In the, in the thing. Look at that dead woodwork. Makes makes it. So a banyan fig. As I said, I'll concentrate on the trees that I like and video more. So that is a Catone Yester. Landscape black pine with figurines and a little house. Interesting. This is a crab apple. Beautiful flowers. It's all about flowers. If, you, if you put a, you're putting a show together in early, in late winter, early spring, it's all about the flowers. It's a black pine. It's a shimpaku juniper. Very nice. A few, a few branches right in your eye, like this one. You can't probably see it. That is right in your face, this branch. You should open that up. If that was open, if that was gone, this branch was gone here. If that was out of your eyes. You can see the trunk better and look much better. Beautiful tree. There's a Japanese maple group, a forest. Lovely, lovely pot. Gorgeous pot, nice shape. Suits the trees. Very nice. Um, Japanese white pine, pretty big. It's been twisted nicely to shorten it, which is great. See the twist? Looks really good. The grass, pretty good too. See the grass right there? In time, it will get better, but that's looking very good. So, not a bad, not a bad white pine. Very good. Ooh, this ash has come back. It's one of my, I think it was my pick last year as uh, the winning tree. Now it's in full leaf. It's the Nagari style, excellent tree. Let's go over to the last section. Shimpaku juniper, very cloud-like foliage, very nice, very big. Old trunk as well. Got a little mini of something. Got a Kurume Azalea again. Another one. 
There's a larch. Very hard to grow larch in Melbourne, but that's doing really well. Uh, black pine. Like a flat top cedar, interesting. This is quite a nice little Japanese maple. I've seen this maple before on Japanese maple, been in the show a few times that one. Got a nice literati blue cedar. Another white pine. Inside. Oh look at that, a sticky wattle, native, beautiful. Let's have a look from you can probably see it from all angles. Quite a nice tree. Ooh, this is good. Oh, this is beautiful. What a what a good group. Very huge. A massive group. Absolutely massive group. A massive, massive tree. Lovely blue. Look at that blue. Lovely tree. A com composma, a weeping maple, a beach copper group, an elm, corky bark black pine. You can see the corky bark starting to happen. Nice movement, interesting. Very nice. And a Japanese maple group. Let's go and call out some of my favourite trees in the exhibition. I miss this tree in the big confusion. It's a humongous trident maple. Huge. See the size of that? It was in the, in the orchid section. It tries to draw people in, which is beautiful. Big old trident maple there. And just a few cool outs. I really like this little group someone put together showing this display. Especially this little blue cedar. It's actually quite nice. Really nice. Well, 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 well done to this display. I think it worked really well. I think this blue cedar is actually quite spectacular, this group. It's extremely old. I just, um, the size of it is huge. I think it's got really nice movement. The movement in, in the direction to the right of the screen, I think, yeah, it'll be the right of the screen. This movement in this direction looks really good. Um, the pad development's really nice. There's a lot of time and effort going into this. It's very hard to get all those bends in this blue in blue cedars. So oh, it's really a bit difficult. I'm thinking this is quite special, this group. Um, it's absolutely massive. That pot is probably a metre, probably at least a metre to a metre and a half, I think, wide, to give you an idea. It's a gorgeous group. I think we'd have to win the, my, my vote for this year. Um, I'll keep looking around, but I think that's the winner. It's pretty amazing. Well, this azalea is extremely special because of that really big trunk. It's a big trunk for an azalea. And growing it, all that flowers. And I'll just give you a top view so you see how spectacular that is. That's amazing. And I did think this English one was quite nice. It was a very interesting pot. And nice, nice natural look English elm. So another honourable mention for those trees. But yes, this group will give, give you, I'm giving this group the win this year. It's absolutely special as anything. They look magnificent in someone's garden. Very nice. It's absolutely massive. I can't really get it into the picture. It's that big. So well done to that whoever had this tree. Anyway, everyone, hope you um, enjoyed the walkthrough of the Vietnamese Club exhibition and hope you like my choice of tree. I think they're quite spectacular this year. I think they've done really well. Some really good call outs and series are flowering. I think that japonica was pretty sweet. I can show you that one there again. But that was quite good. But yeah, I think that cedar group was the best in the show. So that's a lovely japonica. I've never seen something like that before. So pretty awesome seeing that in flower. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed my walkthrough of the Vietnamese Club. And I'll see you soon for more.